So today I'm going to be talking about acute patellar tendonitis, or jumper's knee, as it's commonly referred to. What you want to think about from jumper's knee and how that differs from Osgood slaughters is more of an age difference than anything else. Osgood slaughters normally comes from a younger athlete, so in this younger athlete, the bone density hasn't developed yet, so the muscles of the quad are actually overdeveloped compared to the bone density of you know, the femur and the tibia. So the muscles actually start ripping off of their insertion point on the tibial tuberosity right here. So that's what Osgood slaughters is. So for patellar tendonitis, you know, as adults, as adult athletes or weekend warriors, whatever you are, we have our little bit thicker bone density than, you, than out of a, a child athlete. So it's not going to actually rip off the bone, though it has been known to do that. More acute patellar tendonitis is just irritating that insertion point. So it's actually getting to the point where it is pulling on that bone and it's irritating the tendon more than anything because that's the weakest link. So what you want to think about when, you're, when you have patellar tendonitis is loosening up all of the quad muscles. So I wanted to go through a little bit more of quad flexibility in depth. So check back for the next one.